Welcome to another Daily Thought, and this week we're thinking of biblical passages that deal with our five senses. We've thought of taste and touch and sight, and today we're thinking about hearing. How good is your hearing these days? I said, how good is your hearing these days? When Jesus came to teach us about the kingdom of God, he often told stories, parables they're called, everyday stories, but stories that had a a spiritual meaning and a depth to them. And one of the more well-known stories that he told was of a a farmer. You can read about it in Mark chapter 4. A farmer who went out to sow seed in his field and in the agricultural practices of Jesus' day, the farmer would would throw the seed, scatter the seed uh, by hand and it would fall all over the place in, in, in different locations. And Jesus talks of how some of the seed would fall on a a hard path and the birds would swoop down and uh, snatch the the seed away uh, before it ever had any time to to penetrate anywhere. And then some would fall on rocky ground and there would be the uh, initial evidence of growth. But because there were rocks there and the soil was shallow, uh, the seed didn't get a chance to have any deep roots and the sun would come up and it would just scorch the the fledgling uh, growth and then some would fall on some soil where there were thorns and again uh, some uh, growth would begin but the thorns would quickly surround and choke uh, the growth but then eventually some would fall on what Jesus calls good soil no rocks there no thorns there and the seed would Uh, sink into the soil and and establish good roots and grow and produce uh, a wonderful harvest. And he closes the story by saying, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. And that's a phrase that occurs uh, over and over again in the Gospels, connected with the teaching of Jesus. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the point being that when we're exposed to the teaching of Jesus, that we really do hear and that it doesn't, as we would say, go in one ear and out the other. So what does it mean to hear? Well, in Mark chapter 4, Jesus goes on to explain the story to his disciples. And the different places where the seed lands in that story represent the different responses that people can make. To his teaching. Uh, And so the seed that falls on the hard path is like uh, his word being snatched away by Satan. Uh, People who ignore his word, who reject his word, who who give no opportunity to allow his word to really penetrate uh, their lives at all. The rocky ground is where folk initially welcome his word, but the moment that opposition comes, the moment where it becomes difficult to follow Jesus and to put his word into practice, well, uh, that initial enthusiasm soon withers away. There's no root to their uh, acceptance of his teaching. The soil with the thorns is again where we see the initial uh, beginnings of growth, but a concern for riches and possessions and the things of this world, Jesus says, soon take over and, and they choke any life away. And then there is the good soil where the seed produces a a bumper harvest. And at the end, Jesus says that those who are sown in the good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit. And so true hearing then means not just an initial acceptance of what Jesus says, but an obedience that perseveres, an obedience that lasts against all the distractions and the temptations that would lure us away. An obedience that produces real change in our lives, what Jesus calls fruit, evidence that the seed of his word has been truly planted in our lives. So how good is your hearing these days? As you listen to these daily thoughts, as you hear God's word and on a Sunday, maybe as you read the scriptures for your own uh, from time to time, is it going in 
Is it staying in? Is it taking root? Is it producing fruit? That's the real hearing test.